All right, Libra, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's good for you. Um, Universe Angel Spirit Guides, let's talk about Libra. This, let's talk about Libra. Ooh, Two of Cups. That just fell out like I was about to mix the deck. I'm going to leave that out. Let's see what's talking about. Because Two of Cups is a partnership. And it's, you know, that's a great card because it's both your free will. But I don't know in what context this is talking about. A partnership at work or a love partnership or like something that you have to do. What's the situation for Libra, please? This first week of October. Page of Wands, okay. You could be dealing with somebody younger, a little bit more mature, but moreover, it's an energy of being curious about something. Um, the King of Wands. This is an Aries card when I combine them. If not, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you're very curious about this king. This king is very attractive. He's very creative. There's a lot of passion and chemistry with this king. I could see you're hopeful and positive back here with the star card. All right, let's continue. Let me see if I can get you to see more of my space. All right, so Universal Angel Spirit Guides, what is coming towards my Libra? The world, you're going to start a new chapter. You're starting a new chapter. Four of Cups. Four of Cups talks about unrequited love, runner chaser dynamic, or something that just doesn't make you happy. But you're starting a new chapter. So maybe you're leaving something behind because uh, Nine of Pentacles is being single. Uh, if this is in regards to work, it talks about being financially independent and starting a new chapter, but leaving something that you're not really all that interested in. All right, what is it that Libra doesn't see coming their way? And we just had an eclipse in your birthday month. So I'm pretty sure it, de it definitely affected you drastically. So with the eclipse, you're definitely transitioning and transforming parts of your life. Um, Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords in reverse. You're trying to heal with something, uh, but it looks like breadcrumbs. It looks like, you know, text message here, or text message there. It's like not serious. And now you're healing thy heart. You can see because you're looking at your worth and your value. And like, I don't get crumbs from a cookie. I get the whole goddamn cookie. In fact, I get the whole box of cookies. What is this? So maybe you've moved on because you have the world card here. If this is work related, maybe you're asking for help or someone's asking you for help financially. Sometimes it does talk about a little bit more money at work, like a promotion of some kind, or you're asking for one. You're recovering, though, financially from what it looks like. Um, continuing. Let's see what the advice is here for Libra, please. Oh, too many. But let me see if there's a common thread. I'm going to put some of these cards back. The Seven of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. That Nine of Pentacles came out again. We're definitely talking about self. Strength, resistance, Five of Swords, mental jungle in your head, repeating and ruminating over something. Knight of Pentacles picking up the pieces and moving forward slowly. And the Queen of Pentacles being nurturing, love, kind, and caring. That is always you, Libra. You are always kind. You're always nurturing, loving, and caring. But now you're ruminating over something in your mind that you need to cut out or sacrifice uh, and be on your own, whether it's financially or in a relationship. Um, you're seeking your wish fulfillment, though. Uh, so with that said, you need to resist some shit and find your own wish fulfillment. You do have to do something independently. Okay, so you have to do shit for yourself, okay, because this is self. So I don't know if you're losing your identity to someone else or something else, but it's definitely talking about 
uh, finding your wish fulfillment, filling your cups, um, doing something financially independent. Also, moreover, being by yourself single for a little while, you need to resist something. There's something in your life you have to cut out. Move forward slowly, but with stability and cautiously. And remain that person that you are, that loving, kind, caring individual. Interesting. Let's see what the outcome of the week is for you, Libra. The Emperor, which is an Aries card. The Devil, which is a uh, Capricorn. Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, so you have a lot of court cards, which is, you know, it's not, it's not surprising for a Libra reading. There's always a lot of people in your readings. Always. Because you are sometimes a people pleaser. Sometimes you are... You consider others, you're, you are the balance of most people's lives and they depend on you. That's why in your advice position, there's a lot of nines, uh, which I don't commonly see for the other zodiac signs. This is time for you to nurture thyself, take care of thyself. Um, but your outcome is showing me about somebody in your life that could be a father figure, a mentor, or somebody that you might be seeing or talking to that, that creates empires. They're like a boss, they're big. Um, you're at a crossroads. You're debating what to do. This is how your week is going to end up going. Should you do the new thing or not? Nine times out of ten, you're going to do it. But if you might as well rip off the band-aid and start moving forward to that future. Don't hold yourself back because that's where it's going, regardless. So the universe is just going to sit around and wait for you to do that. Um, but the devil is here. This is a repeated pattern. This is something toxic. A person is toxic. Or it's you that is doing something that's fear-based. You're scared to do. You're scared to move forward. Um, so you, this is why you're moving slowly like the Knight of Pentacles. Sorry, Knight of Wands. You have a King of Pentacles here too. I don't know if some of you guys are having an affair or doing something casual. Because the King of Pentacles is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And I have an Aries there and I have a Capricorn there. And the Nine of Wands is casual. It's in, it's out. It's like, I came to party, I came to win, I'm out. <laughs> Goodbye. Until next time. Au revoir. Um... And that's what's toxic. So some kind of pattern you're repeating or something you're not letting go. But we started with the Two of Cups. We started with the partnership. And this is probably what, this is the base reading. I'm going to start clarifying in a minute. But from what I'm suspecting looking at these cards, this is why your advice is like you got to do something alone, single. Because you might not see it clearly. Because you got too many court cards all up in your face. Too many things are going on. Um, okay. Let's continue and see what's happening here because I do see a King of Wands and I see a King of Capri a King of Capricorns. Oh my God, King of Pentacles. <laughs> Sometimes the slip of the tongue is not so slippy. Why is the Page of Wands and the King of Wands here? You're curious about this person. This person, my kings are my incoming energy. The queens are you. So say you're a Libra dating a Libra. That king of wands, which does not have to be a fire sign, is the energy of your person. They're behaving like one. Chemistry, passion, attraction. See, the page of wands is clarified by the page of wands. That's why I love working with two decks. Because when they repeat themselves in the same exact position, it's like the universe is doubling down my message. So I know, I'm pretty sure that you are doing something that's curious. You are trying to get more information on someone or something. Five of Cups, but feeling like guilt and regret over something. 
what is the four of cups and the world let's be four of cups i'll be honest with you you have unrequited love here with someone or you're bored by something so you're starting to start a new chapter in your life you're like i'm sick of that <laughs> this is something new um yeah nine of pentacles being single or at least financially independent this looks like a love reading to me mostly and of course it's we're in libra season and it's also where you know your planet is like in hardcore mode i feel like always september is like love month for most of the acts um not all of them but especially you uh and taurus probably eight of wands this is you taking action communication with someone back and forth you're at a crossroads you definitely are leaving something versus going into something new okay what is the six of pentacles and the three of wands in reverse the seven of swords is stepping out it's ghosting it's lying it's cheating it's an affair you're recovering from something i don't know if your person cheated on you or you guys are recovering from you stepping out or someone's ghosting you or for the love of god it looks like an affair um oh three of cups third angle let me see why all these nines are here in your advice Boom, there's your two of cups. When I see two of cups in the advice position, it does talk about, like if you remember at the very, very beginning of this video, rewind it and replay if you have to. Remember the first card that fell out was the two of cups? I'm like, oh, I'm gonna leave it there so I can see what it's talking about. Well, here it is, it's presenting itself in your advice position. Because I didn't know if it was talking about you getting into a relationship or you uh, wanting a relationship, or you need to work uh, with a partnership. And here it is, it's falling in your advice position. You need to work at a partnership. You need to work at a relationship. And you also have temperance, which is tempering yourself and being patient. Okay, so you do need to temper yourself. You do need to be patient. You do need to take a moment alone uh, to think about who's the right partner for you and then work on that partnership. All right. Because you have blocks, obstacles, and challenges. And right now there might be some arguments and your head might not be so clear. Let me see what's going on in your outcome over here with the devil. Look at my face with the devil. <laughs> Higher fonts out here, marriage, commitment. And the world card i don't know if you are ending a marriage or you are something to do about marriage and or commitment and starting a new chapter you're definitely on a crossroads you, you ended something or someone ended something with you ten of swords I do not know if you went from one person to the next and then this is like what's going on because it kind of feels that way uh, you you are doing something casual with the knight of wands and there is another king back there so i have two kings all right i think i said what i said <laughs> Romance angels, what say you here for Libra, please? I'm going to throw a card on these cards because this is what I do my extended and you guys don't have an extended and someone's like, well, can you please do it for us? And I'm like, all right, I'll see what I can do. Libra, please. Worth wait. Everybody got this card worth waiting for and i feel the reason why the whole collective is getting this card i really feel like the universe is shuffling around people shuffling around partnerships and they're like hold on hold on we're gonna play like you know the roulette wheel and psh, and then where it lands we start dispersing 
people to other people. It's funny. Worth waiting for, says there. But the Priestess of Light Oracle is the best advice cards. So let's see what you get, Libra. One for Libra. Flop it or I pick it. Nope, too many. Flop it or I pick it. Okay. Let's see. Going with the flow. Let's see what going with the flow is. You actually have two cards. You have going with the flow and circle of eternal, eternal joy. Let's see if I can skim through it so you're not here forever with me. The priestess of the waterfall rises from the foam, holding the midst of water spirits close to her heart. She wears a golden spiral of infinity on her headdress. The symbolizing the power of purification and the release of negativity. When this card appears to you in your spread, it announces a time of quiet energy, encouraging you, um, sorry, encouraging you to release resistance and go with the flow. True release requires a conscious intention to let go of control and embrace the cleansing energy of the non-attachment. Take a break from trying to force your will and open your heart to the guidance of the spirit flowing within around you. Water is an important element in your life experience. It brings clarity, understanding, and represents the presence of spirit. You are a body of water as this blue planet of ours. On that level, you resonate with earth and every entity on it. So charge the water your drink with love and a firm spirit presence in the rain, in the shower, and in all the water around you. The, this cleansing intention purifies your energy and releases limitation and negativity. Such a clear and vibrant resonance that opens your life to the unlimited flow of abundance available to you. So let go and let yourself receive. Interesting. And you also got this, the circle of eternal joy. Look at this card well because they're going to start describing bits of bops about it. Let's see why you got this. The Dove of Spirit brings a blissful feeling of anticipation to the priestess of the dance. The pair faces outwards in front of a portal that leads to the energetic realm. This mystical vortex is a place of power where intentions and vibrations reach from the long distant planet into the infinite future. The dove is a symbol of eternal spirit, a divine consciousness that moves freely through time and space. Your soul is of that same spiritual nature and your energy spirals through time, engaged in the dance of repetition and rebirth. Each turn of the dance, each life and every day brings opportunities for joy. And your present joy spins blissful intentions into the fabric of the future. This card brings profound, encouraging guidance. Your life is eternal and you are always connected to the bliss of your spiritual perspective. Know that you can still find happiness, purpose, and understanding in that dance that is your current life. There may be a literal message well, uh, as well here, a suggestion to dance more perhaps to take dance classes or to find joy in movement and music. There might be a party coming up, maybe even a wedding for you or someone you know. Remember to find your bliss in the little moments. Let yourself dance, laugh, sing, and enjoy. All right, Libra, that's what I got for you. Um, I'll see you next week.